Took a swing at a wrecking ball and I prayed for my downfall and I found a way to reconcile cause in my heart How's it going guys? We're back at it with round one of the 2023 season. Got an absolute banger coming up with the cats and the pies at the MCG after what was a well kind of a flat ending for uh, the Richmond and Carlton faithful but for the neutrals it was great. Great cracking game. Hopefully we get a obviously a good result here with a win, but you never know with these pies. They they always have something under their sleeve and they can play really well on their day. So, you know, time will tell, but always gotta remain faithful to your own and just hope that we can get the win. Um, we are running a little bit late. Hopefully we get there, hopefully we don't miss out on too much of the game and hopefully we have some good content. I'll see you guys in a moment. Just an update, we have finally managed to make it to our seats and Stengel has welcomed us with a goal. So currently it's three zip to the Cats, two three to the Pies. It's looking like it's gonna be a pretty tight one at the G today. We'll see how we go. Jeremy Cameron has snagged the goal for the Cats. And we now extend our lead to nine points. Still a pretty tight game, but looks like we're ready to play. I'll come back to you in a bit. He manages a slot of goal from the pocket. It's a first goal as a captain. Let's hope there's more to come. Tom Hawkins has taken a mark from about 40 out, 35, 40 out, on an angle. Normally he does nail these. This is his bread and butter. We'll see if the run-up looks good. What about the line? Tom Hawkins has now joined the goals oh, party. That's goal number six Get in the quarter, mind you. In the first quarter, the Cats look like they're ready to Come play. On, aggressive. We look like we're willing to take on Come a ten. On, Do we get a seven? Not a seven. Collingwood do manage to nab a goal there back. Just a bit of an error in the stoppage play, just not really covering the spaces. And Taylor gets rewarded with a goal for his Magpie side, so that's the third goal for the Collingwood Magpies. Let's hope we can kind of not allow them to get another one at least until quarter time. get about two in a minute and all of a sudden it's a one kick the ball game three points not really the result we wanted to have uh, going this deep into the first quarter hopefully we can get one quick one here uh, if not try and at least stop the bleeding and try to assess where we went wrong so a bit unfortunate but we hold strong Time 
here at the MCG. We do hold a three-point lead. Collingwood managed to sneak in a couple of sneaky ones, and it does kind of sting a little bit, despite the early dominance that we actually had. It keeps them in it, which is not what we really want. But, you know, there's still three quarters of football to go, and I think overall we're playing okay. Danger looks all right. Joey's been doing well. Ollie's done some nice things. Uh, you know, Guthrie's doing what he does best. Um, it probably does hurt a bit not having Selwood out there to kind of calm the storm a little bit, but I think overall it could have been a lot worse. And look, I'll take a three-point buffer going into quarter time. Hopefully we can kind of maybe try and stabilize a bit, maybe put him away a little bit, get a couple of goals, get a bit of momentum rolling. But other than that, it's it's looking a little rough. But like I said, could have been a lot worse. Got another point. The Cats have kicked two we're off to a good start once again going into this quarter. So it does push us to about a 10 point lead. Hopefully we can uh, keep this up. This is actually a really good start. Sometimes going forward, we've been getting outbarked in the air. Maybe we need like an extra crummer as well, um, because otherwise we're just we're just dying from out there. We're just getting killed down there. Like you know, Mason Cox goes up, gets a grab, gets a goal. Um, you know, a few of the other tolls get up and up on the ground. It's definitely become like a tolls meta for now. It seems like a lot of the teams are now running toll players down forward. There's something we need to adjust to over time for sure, but. Look, I'm confident that if we keep playing the way we're playing, I think we might be okay. Losing Stewart does hurt a lot though. Uh, definitely need him down back at the moment because, like I said, Mason Cox killing us. Uh, just a few of their small forwards getting around those crumbs, getting the sneaky goals. Um, i got to say, my opinions on the fourth umpire. It's definitely had an impact. There's been some calls that probably wouldn't have been made last year that they've been making now because of that fourth umpire. I think it's a good and a bad thing. It's good because it probably makes I'm on the cat! Yeah! I'm on the pies! Go the pies! Obviously a bit of Geelong and Collingwood bias there, but I'm assuming they're good mates. They may not be after the game, but um, yeah, I think it's been all right. Um, but probably not perfect because they're being very pedantic with some of the calls that they're probably making that isn't really needed. But overall, I think it's okay. I think going into the third, I think we just need to focus on our game plan, do what we do best. You know, if, if we're going to get slaughtered in the air, we're going to get slaughtered in the air. It is what it is. Keep the ball low, might make it a bit more different. Hopefully, we can go into this next quarter with the same amount of drive and energy, try and boost up the lead a little bit more, and have potentially a comfortable win. But knowing how these pies work, they always fight and fight until the end. So. Credit to them where credit's due, and I have to fight hard for this one tonight. How's it going? I've been counted! So I know it's very hard to say it with Curry though, sorry about that. Can't help him to try and see. Come on, Jalon, get a goal back in the second half, Jalon! Oh, 
Somebody talk. 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 Somebody See a play go down, it doesn't matter what colours they wear. Hopefully, he should be alright, it's not too serious, but the fact that the stretcher is out and the car is out, it's not a good sign. So, hopefully, for him and the car is faithful, he does come around just as fine, but only time will tell. Very right. right so, Isaac Smith has a chance to tie and nail it from the left side pocket to me. He is a left footer, so it is a natural spot for him to be kicking. Yeah. Yeah. Goey gets a goal back for the Pies and makes it now a two goal difference. Yeah. Kind of gives Collingwood a little bit of life again. They probably need to kick the next one to try and take him back out of the game. Come on, Cameron! Oh, come on, Joel! Great job in the defence. I must say, Tav has been playing fantastic tonight. He's been actually doing really well. He's been kind of holding his own in defence. You know what? He might actually be a very good tall defender going forward for the rest of the season. Um, he might be someone that we need to kind of experiment more with in the back line. This is something that gives us a bit of height. From this point onwards would come the downfall of the Geelong Cats, the most painful 40 minutes that any Cats fan would sit through for the rest of this game. So Brody from Collingwood 
has taken a mark inside that 50. Yeah, it's going to be trying to get a goal here to bring it back to 16 points. He's on a slight angle, but not that big one. And he does Unfortunately, it does still give them a little bit of life, Collingwood. But it seems like at the moment we are playing well enough to get the result here. Really needed to run pretty hard there to get onto that one. It wasn't directly onto him, but for someone like Gary Speed, he was always catching up to that one. So Gary Rowan, he's going to be taking a short one to four points. It's a closer kick, but it's a tighter angle. to get some pressure going into our forward 50. from way ahead, from way behind. Go Geelong! Go the Cats! Go the boys! So obviously we've got some uh, optimistic cat supply supporters there. Um, but yeah, I, th I still feel like we can get it done. But it's going to be really tough. We're going to have to really come out here with some aggression. I feel like the first goal is going to be very telling. And obviously... Go the Cats! Do you think we win it from here? I'm going to say, but... Close game's so. a good game. As it should be. Up the points! Up the points! Up the points! Alright, they're confident. Both teams are feeling pretty confident going to the last quarter. So, we'll see. It's going to be set for a cracking finish. I'll see you guys during the fourth quarter. Let's see what happens. Up the points! Up the points! A lot of happy pie supporters, as we can see. Good job, Get it! So with that goal, I suppose. So with that goal, Hollywood make a little level at the MCG in the early stages of the fourth quarter. The guys have kicked two in the last quarter. Looks like we've got a bit of work to do if we want to try and get back into this one. So we can go. 
Pies get another goal. A third goal into the last quarter. Extending their lead to 19 points and it's now starting to ring alarm bells. Amazing. 88 last night. 86 tonight. And that's a goey goal to put a stamp on it. He has kicked his third. See you next week against Carlton. We'll see how we go. Thanks, guys. Catch you on the next one.